Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. Hi, everybody. And Brett. Sydney, shut up. This is The Bachelor, season 28, episode three. Uh, this is Joey's season. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also, uh, like and subscribe to our TikTok account. Uh, really appreciate all the support. What I don't appreciate, guys, honestly, is this season of The Bachelor. I'm, I'm indulge me for a second here. Everybody logging in, you're going to see the thumbnail. You're going to see the title. The Maria and Sydney stuff tonight, obviously, was the main crux of it. Sydney referring to Maria as a mean girl, as a bully. She used the word attack a lot of times tonight in all of her explanations that everyone looked at her with 12 heads. Like, I hope America is looking at this chick with. But honestly, We've seen white knights come and go in the Bachelor franchise. This is a common trope that besides being overly frustrating, watching her be like just who she is, whatever. She's not my big problem here tonight, everybody. Joey, you are my big problem here tonight, dude. Enough. This dude was on the show. He's been around the block before. When you have somebody come and say someone's bullying me or they're doing something bad, yeah, you pull the other person in. And when the other person gives you a compelling case of why maybe that person was full of shit, why don't you just go grab the chick and bring her over? How could they never? Why does it have to be on a th- two-on-one date before you'll ever have these chicks just sat in a room and talk? Oh, maybe I should have asked more questions. Maybe you should have asked any questions, dude. You're a clown. You're a big soft boy. Like, this is so, fu- it's so frustrating. Look, I, yeah, I picked Maria to win before. I didn't know anything about her. But it, it's just crazy that we have to sit there. And we're going to watch all these other chicks sit there, not say a word either, feel awkward. And this is what the show's about. But don't worry, guys. We get two episodes next week. Two for what reason other than to get this over with faster? Mm. So that's my thoughts on this episode. Brian, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it's definitely annoying. I think the producers have more of a hand in it than you. I know you're fully on Joey, but I think the producers are the ones doing this. Like they they're like, don't eliminate her. Let's have a what's waste a whole episode with a date. And I think that they think that's gonna draw on viewers, and that's why the show's in a steady decline. But yeah, I mean the one good thing about this episode was KFC. Obviously, <laughs> the Colonel respect. Yeah, I love KFC. I, I wonder when the last time any of those girls actually went to a KFC and ate some. Probably, probably a long time. But um, yeah, the thing with Sydney, she's acting just like I would expect a uh, a Rhode Island vintage store owner to act like, who has right. tattoos on on her fingertips. She's uh, you can she's like acting for the camera. Like I feel like the whole thing's manufactured either by producers or by herself. Clearly, she knows she's she sounds and looks crazy, and she's just trying to – in her confessional, she's very performative. And I do think – I mean, Joey, he's like, yeah, you're right. How can I like Maria and Sydney at the same time when Maria said that to him? So I think he probably would have gotten rid of Sydney had they not forced him to keep her for the, uh, you know, the inevitable two-on-one we're going to get. Yeah, it seems like the two-on-one is – I'm guessing it'll be in night two next week and probably be where our cliffhanger – leaves us so we'll probably be screaming about this on tuesday night as well as monday night next week we'll be here obviously now look i i like a good rivalry i just don't like when it, it's just this show is a, i know it's not real life but these people are supposed to be looking for real love and building real relationships in this type of crazy environment there's no way in real life that that's how a person guy or girl would have handled that situation that she said she said you would got everyone in the same room at that moment. You're not waiting like to go on a triple date in Malta to, to figure this out. It's it. And frankly, if I'm some of those other women there, I'm getting fed up with this crap already. And I would turn on Sydney. I'm um, the bunch of them. I just go to Joey and be like, by the way, the blonde chick is making this way worse than it is. I, that would be entertaining television. Frankly, like I would, I think it would be refreshing for some people. I think it's why people like the golden bachelor. Some of the things, it wasn't as drama filled. The conversations were honest. When something happened, it was addressed that episode. This is how things used to be dealt with on the Bachelor franchise. But it, it, this is just so contrived. Like Brian said, like, yeah, it probably was the producers, but that's BS. I don't want something that's artificially stretched out. If they want to kill each other, let them kill each other. 
And then we'll have the aftermath and we'll move on with the season. But to not let somebody or to make it pretty evident when Maria said to him, like, if you keep me, do not keep her. If you're going to keep her, do not keep me because it just doesn't make sense. I, that's where it loses me. That's where yeah, that, that was a bold comment, too. Like, it's, because she's not there yeah. for it. I don't blame her. It's crazy. You don't go to these shows, and get the literally had. I mean, the girl's making things up. So then you were cursing them out. Then this is like, yeah, what are you talking about? None of that's real. I mean, I, they, like, I need they, to go back and rewatch it because I don't remember that. There was nothing. There was no, because she didn't there do it. No, there was no cursing. I know um, every time that she's talking, though, in, on the couch near the other girls, they all are just like rolling their eyes, not saying anything. They're just not doing what Sydney's doing and going and snitching on her to him about it. Yeah, you're right. Because her name Medina is that the girl that was originally this whole thing started from? Yeah, she's, yeah the, she's like the, I'm not even the saying old his girl. Name. Like, yeah. So that's that's where we it's it was that and now it stemmed into this. Yeah, and like she's definitely looking for the opportunity. But they've definitely cemented their status for paradise. Like coming oh, in on the sure. same time, liking the exact same dudes. Because you know, neither of them are winning. Yep, it's, yeah, set your watch to it, man. Yeah, Sydney. I I would think I would think uh, I would think Sydney would go first. The 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 trailers are trying to lead us to believe that he's questioning Maria more again. I could see Maria leaving before he gets rid of her. I, I think he's gonna stay with Maria. I think this is all like a smoke screen. Like, oh, it looks like he's gonna pick Sydney, but she's Maria was in a lot more trailers than Sydney was. I so, definitely think Maria is going to stick around. I, I like her. I think he, she's going to make it far. Um, and going back to the Medina thing too. So this whole thing stemmed from her. It looks like she's. I mean, every time they show her on the on the show, she just has like a really sourpuss look on her face. She does. Look and sad. next week, it looks like you know it's going to be more of that. And maybe she's going to have a her villain arc or something and cause some drama. And also Medina, she was the one that didn't want anybody. She didn't want to tell the name of whatever because Joey was. She had said, oh, they're bullying me, trying to make me tell the name, and I don't want to deal with it. And then Joey's like, do you want to tell me? Quit bullying her, Joey. Joey. <laughs> I, I, you know what, though? If she's not going to name names, what are you even bringing it up for? Nah, uh, Pat, that's fair. Yeah. What are you even bringing it up for? <laughs> like, you wanted, I think she wanted him to guess or something. Like, well, well, if you guess the right name, I'll say yes. It's like, she's such a point to the person, in, point to the girl in the picture. It's like I'm expecting this guy. Uh, as far as mechanics of the show this week, we did have two group dates and a one-on-one, like we did last week. We started this week with 18 women. Um, like we said, it looks like this is the last week that we're gonna be in the Bachelor Mansion. Seems like they're gonna start hitting the road next week. Uh, we had the Golden Bachelor women return. I mean, I think that was kind of notable. I mean, everyone likes them. It was April Susan. Kathy, Nancy, the Askin ladies, but the date was boring because it was a pageant, right? Because we, awful, and, we, and we've seen awful that date. before. And uh, Sydney apparently, this. Sydney is a pageant girl, yet her talent was God. doing a very terrible cheerleader chant. So, is that was that her talent when she was a real pageant girl? Who knows? She could have done better. <laughs> Pageants are. It's just, it was an awful date. I mean, when I was, was in high school, truly I truly terrible a pageant day. girl. Nightmare. Completely. The second day was better. Like the um, the tennis one, at least that has some connection to Joey. This is just like, oh, it was the, it was so stupid. I, so I don't the uh, the other girl that's the front runner, Lexi. She won by kissing him. I didn't I didn't like that as a as a talent or to reward that. You know, it's kissing a talent. Yeah. Poll question in the comments. Must have been a good kiss. Yeah, Listen, I don't care what I you. Mean, what do. was he supposed to choose from? I mean, that really like the, the there wasn't a lot here. to choose from. Um, what um, what's her face? Did Maria did like dancing, right? Yeah, she did that little dance. Like, I, it, what else was notable? So he just picks her because he probably likes her. I mean, that that's what I would do if I was in his position. Like, who do you like? I thought the girl singing was pretty ballsy, even though it wasn't the best. Yeah, I like I like Edwina. She's a, she's also a bachelor. I like right? Edwina. She's, she's like badass. over it. She's the she's the yeah. voice of the people right now. Yeah, on she's like yeah, she's calling out Sydney. Like, I really I really like her. I think she's cool. Uh, so yeah, like you mentioned, Brett. Uh. Lex, she she got the group. The she won the pageant, so she got the rose. Um, okay, who else are we going on to now? Uh, Lexi with that rose. Uh, Kelsey. Uh, got the group group date rose for the other rose. That was the uh, after the tennis tournament. Mm-hmm. Uh, James Blake, pretty notable U.S. tennis player. I my I actually I mean for me to recognize somebody's name outside of like a 
Federer or like a Djokovic or something like that. So, I mean, relatively notable guy. They've been getting pretty good gets this season. Yeah, they, 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 I will admit to that. They definitely have. I mean, Michael Bolton still is like cemented number one for sure, but. Can't beat Michael Bolton. Yeah, it's that, tough. That, it's tough. That new Michael Bolton song was pretty fire, I thought, that they had going off during the fireworks for the one-on-one. Listen, I, Dude, I'm, the guy has pipes, man. No negative comments coming from me about Michael Bolton. No, Just definitely not. Not from me at all. Uh, Jen had the one-on-one date. This is what I called like the bye week for the budget. They got she had to go surfing. <laughs> Everyone else gets to go on these crazy dates, helicopters like Coachella. She had to go surfing. Um, got some good. He likes her though. Yeah, we got a lot of backstory about her. Um, somebody we could see going on for a while here. Uh, curious to see what the comment section thinks about her. Is she for the one from Hawaii? Is that Leah? That's Leah. Leah. Leah is from Hawaii. I forget the, where the she's from. from uh, she's from Miami. Miami, okay. Um, we mentioned the KFC pool party. Great sponsorship. I, I appreciate the fact that they're just not hiding it at all. Um, I think that story that was in the confessional was made up. <laughs> yeah, like my grandma, we used to always, she used to always go get a family size bucket for us. Dude, my my grandmother used to do that stuff. We used to get like fifty piece nuggets from McDonald's and Boston Market stuff. So I could see it. I I related to it. I was like, I, I can see that, but I, exactly. I can see it's it very good marketing. I, I believe it, but that's that's probably the last time she had KFC was when she was a child. The buzzword was very good. The family size bucket for yeah, twenty nine really, ninety two. Yeah, if you really want to see if they've had KFC, is like, have you had the grilled KFC? That's that's the test when it was still around. Do you guys remember I, that? I, I I just never would get the grilled options. It's like no, I never Chick-fil-A would either. Get but the I, mean, grilled that was a, I had it once because obviously I got to try it. But yeah, yeah, KFC Popeyes, man. The, I I think they're superior. I like I like fried chicken. We have a raisin canes about to open like down the street from here. Ooh. So that's a. It's going to be a I've never had that. That is intriguing to me. Yeah, no. So I'll let you guys know when it opens. Um, all right. So it's an episode of The Bachelor. So it has to have a rose ceremony. Uh, the following women received roses and will advance to start touring uh, the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, Lexi, Leah, Kelsey T, Rachel, Medina, Daisy, Jess, Edwina, Autumn, Allison, Maria, and Sydney, you knew it. I, my wife was watching with me when Maria got announced second. She was like, "Yeah," because she didn't like Sydney either. And I was like, "No, but that you know that means they're both there." Because if it was one or the other, they would have been the last person, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I was already like, I literally was already like packing up to come upstairs. Like I was already over it. I'm like, like that Skeletor meme where you're like, ah. "No, I literally, I, I was just over it. I was like, "Here we go," and she's like, "Where are you going?" I'm like, "It's over." Like, and then like, she, like she's like, "No," nah. and then she saw. It, she's like, "Oh," I'm like, "Just, I hate to say it." I was just been around the block. <laughs> just, yeah, we've been around the block so here. We it's know so now. Uh, I thought she was going home. So <laughs> eliminated. Uh, so that left us our eliminated players. So with Krissa, right, Evelyn, and Star. Yeah, that was my pick. You want to be a star, don't you? But no. Think, why was Star your pick? I don't think she ever said anything the entire show. Well, it's, 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 pre, pre, it's pre-season. It's pre-season. Oh, okay. I thought she's hot. The premise is that we just look at their bios on the Bachelor website and he's, just go off of that. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> like three weeks in a row then that he's eliminated like one of the... You know, I mean, there's a lot of hot girls in the house, but like three hot girls when I think there's definitely some, some girls in the house that are a little weirder. I know me personally, um, that girl from Hawaii, not the Asian one, but the uh, the one with all the yeah. earrings that got caught on the sweater. No, the girl that got oh, caught Rachel, on the Rachel. sweater. Her ears and earrings bother me. <laughs> I'm not a big piercing <laughs> this is person. Brett's like getting into like, this is what really bothers me. <laughs> yeah, it, it bothers me. And I thought it was hilarious it got caught on her sweater, but uh, <laughs> or on his sweater. And also, the, the other girl is that weird, uh, the girl that, I forgot her name, but she basically looks like she's an elf in an anime. If that makes sense, yeah, you got to tell us who though. She has like um, the eyelashes. She has the, is she the one from New Orleans. The, no, the one, the um, her all the women in her family are cursed. That one, Caitlin. she's the uh, the radiologist or something. Oh, uh, the radio chemist. That's Caitlin. Caitlin. Yeah. She got a, She looks like Pokey Maine. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> she she looks like Pokey Maine. That's one from Santa Fe. Um, 
I don't know. I don't have any issues, but I do appreciate you having irrational hate for the earrings. So we'll let you. I'm not going to object to it. You can you know, there are people hate people on this show and for other shows for way less than that. So I'll take the earrings. Um, so, yeah, those are three women eliminated there. So we're down to the final 15. They're taking 15 women to Malta. It's a lot of a lot of people to travel with. And then they're going to be in Spain the next episode. Do we have two normal ass episodes in, in two Dog, days? I think we got two two hour episodes Monday and Tuesday next week. Just literally curb stopping my week. It's just, you know, thanks, Batch. I, I want an explanation. Yeah, like why? Is um, there a week off? Like, is there like like conve- no, dude? I, we're in February. I was about to say, are there like political conventions? It's February. Yeah, like, what is going on? Sense. The su- is sense, it the, it's not the Super Bowl. Super Bowl is on the Sunday. Um, I thought I'm like literally trying to think of any event that ABC would have access to that would hold it up. Yeah, because there's no other playoff it. sport. There's no other playoff sports, and they usually ABC is like a Sunday, Saturday game. So, so we're getting episodes so four and five next week. Jeez, I mean, honestly, man, if the, the, the they're going to eliminate, like, if there's a, a, do you think we get two rose ceremonies? I would going to be irate if it's we get one rose ceremony out of four hours. Well, they're going to two different countries, so it should be two rose ceremonies. Probably lose like six people. Because they just like, yeah, we'll be down the by we'll we'll get to I think we'll get to ten at least, right? Like we're at fifteen now. If we're not at ten after next week, like we're in trouble. I, don't know. I just want Sydney off my screen. So well, that's- I, I just don't I don't want to see her have any more confessionals. They just need to go get it over with. I want the two of them to knock each other out in a beezer or wherever they're going. But I don't want any more confessionals or bitching from Sydney. They're on like a they're on like a boat. It looks like a, like a like a canal type of thing. So you got to put two two of them out, like it's like a shy guy says, and you're snipping one of the ropes and sending them out to sea. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, four hours of bachelor coverage. We'll be here for that. Uh, we are covering a bunch of other reality TV shows. The premiere of Below Deck, new captain replacing Captain Lee, Captain Carrie. Uh, I'll get a video out for that tomorrow morning following the Bachelor review. Uh, we are covering Love Island. Uh, we have just finished up coverage of the Traders UK season two. We're doing the Traders US season two, though, continuing on with that. Vanderpump Rules is back. Uh, so we're covering that each week. Uh, love and hip hop reviews. What else do we got, Bri? Ready to love. Yeah, ready to love on Friday. Um, dude, I can't remember. Australian Survivor, if y'all want to do that. Australian Survivor is going into week two right now. Um, so that's a possibility. Regular Survivor starts in a few weeks. So we're going to, that's 100% obviously going to be a, a weekly coverage. Also, check out the cast interviews and reviews we did of The Trust on Netflix. It's a new show. You may not have heard of it, uh, but you should go check it out. And then we got cast interviews with a majority of the finalists. So definitely gave great context and crazy comment sections if you're looking for that. Uh, but for myself, Brian. Brett, everyone here at The Reality Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you.